Well, hello again, everyone. My name is Kronos006, and I am back with another new Let's Play adventure. This is Can Gao's latest release. It literally came out today as I'm recording this, Finding Paradise. I cannot tell you guys how long I have been waiting for this to come out. As you know, for those who watched, if you haven't, you may want to watch my playthrough of To the Moon, as this is the first part, the spiritual prequel of this game, and then a bird story, which both can be found on my page. I may even put links, we'll see. Can Gao's Masterpieces, and here we have his latest. Now, it's really funny, <laughs> he just put out a trailer video where he said, oh, it's gonna suck, the music is gonna suck, blah blah blah, and it's like, what? No, it's not. Don't be so self-deprecating, says the most self-deprecating person ever. Once again, Ken Gao um, did the game and some of the music. Laura Shigihara did some of the other music. There are a couple other people, of course. The voices, all that. I hope there are voices. There weren't voices in To the Moon, <laughs> except for my terrible voice acting. Oh boy, I am just, I'm, I'm a mess right now. I'm so excited. I literally have my <laughs> Kleenex at the ready here for when for when I ball like a baby, which of course I will. And again, if you guys have not seen my original playthrough of To the Moon and Bird Story, you'll know that's a very emotional story. Now, I don't know a whole lot about it other than what I kind of saw in Bird Story. So, hell, let's just do this. It's been almost two years exactly that I finished my playthrough of To the Moon. <laughs> God, I think how far I've come and how much my life has changed since then. But hell, let's just dive into it. Let's begin. <laughs> Can already see Dr. Watts and Dr. I don't know her last name. Ava? I literally can't think of her last name right now. Driving along in John Voight's car. <laughs> this was made with RPG Maker XP, by the way. Amazing. Just amazing. <laughs> nice. Oh, 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 oh my. Oh my. That's, that's not good. Well, I don't know if the squirrel got killed or not, but... Yeah! Good to see you guys again. <laughs> what the shit, Ava? That's how you keep everyone alive, including the squirrel. Rosalie. Hope you learned something. Look, sometimes it's either us or them. By keeping ourselves alive now, we can be around to stop more self-inflicted critter casualties later. <laughs> God, I've missed these guys. Logic. And lightning. We should be arriving at the patients soon. I could use a snack before then. Do you mind? Wow, only you would pack the glove box full of apples. Yeah, well, my nephew decorates a Christmas tree with them every year. And then I have to eat them for ages. Apples on a Christmas tree, huh? How would that work logistically? Don't you dare say it. Don't you mean pineapples? <laughs> I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> I love the new animations. It does seem like it's got a higher level of production. It's still kawaii as hell, though. Ooh. 
Well, here we are again. Whoa, check out this rad bike. Why can't we go to work on these instead? Because we are here to visit dead people, not to get ourselves killed. Really? I couldn't tell after the trauma of you driving like a stunt double. Besides, we're visiting half-dead people. <laughs> they are only mostly dead. <laughs> Very different things. Yeah, well, let's hurry and keep it that way. All yours. You gonna make me carry it again? Seriously? Okay, I can do the... I can do the icons with the mouse. Let's roll. Like a cucumber. What? <gasps> oh. Yeah, no, that's quite a stretch. Time to look for hidden items. Anything? Anything at all? <laughs> I'm getting such a huge sense of nostalgia right now. I'm so happy. I am so happy. Whoa, whoa. This gets kind of awkward. <laughs> I'm so happy right now, you guys. Oh, this is great. Oh, God. Bratty kids again. Hmm. There's a leaking sprinkler over there. Neil Watts, you're the most insensitive man on Mars. Hey now, what happened here? <laughs> Her name is Potato! What?! She, she kicked my teddy into the water! Yeah, well, it's a dumb bear. Just like your lame hair. Who looks like that? The mouse said my bun beds are pretty. Yeah, well, she also named you. Potato. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, don't worry. We'll get your bear back. Actually, let me take care of this. Why? What do you mean, why? I'm telling you, I got this one. <laughs> I gotta go with Dr. Watts. You know I have to. <laughs> hey. What? Hmm. Is that also hers? No, that's mine, you doofus. It's the new Rebel Doll X3000. Whatever that is. They're cool because they got attitude and don't care. Yeah, nice and emo with your purple hair there. And like wimpy teddy bears, they. Oh, and he stole it and kicked it in the water. Nice. <laughs> now you're both sad. <laughs> Neil, what the jalapeno did you do? What? What do you mean, what? You just took some kid's doll and kicked it into the water. You could get sued for... Yay! <laughs> You're my hero. <laughs> wow. Teaching that kid bad manners for the future. Nice. No probs, kid. In your face! <laughs> what have I done? I really, really hope that this somehow has implications for the rest of the game, but I'm sure it doesn't. This is so messed up. Justice is cold and damp, Ava. Kinda like a tuna. Can I talk to her? I don't think it'll let me. Hey, uh, do you want me to get it back? 
Leave her be. We got more important stuff to do. But I want to talk to the dancing potato. So you want me to get your teddy back? I don't care anymore! Wow, kids these days are messed up. Kids are terrible to each other. I am a witness to that. Children are absolutely brutal. <laughs> I probably did some very brutal things when I was a kid too. But I like to think that I was the victim and not the actual afflictor. <laughs> That's probably not true. But anyway. Yay! Awareness of bullying. What we got down here? Let's make poor Neil walk all this way for nothing. Nope, nothing there. Alright. I guess this is our client's apartment building? Let's go in. Whoa. Straight into the elevator, huh? Oh! That's the gatekeeper. Hey there, this is Dr. Rosaline and Dr. Watts from Sigmund. Yeah, I hope we're on time. Um, are you letting us in? What was that? What was what? Did you not feel the blast of ice from through the monitor? Then she's got a dying spouse. It's not like we're here to lay out a picnic. Alright, maybe it's just me. What's that noise? What are you doing? Hey, come back. What are you doing? Talk to me! Okay, I guess I gotta go here. Here to fulfill someone's dying wish, huh? How'd you know? This is the second time I've seen a visit from your company this week. Who is it this time? Colin Reeds. Know of him? The retired pilot? Yeah, he lives on the top floor. Go on and give him the happy ending he deserves. Probably. You seem very detached. And dumb. Alright, what else we got here? exploring keep exploring oh is that where I have to go I was like thinking I had to go up here nope that's definitely where I have to go can we go in already oh I just got done showing the uh, original Let's Play of To The Moon that I did to someone else that I care a lot about, and she liked it a lot. Just gonna keep that under wraps for now, though. <laughs> Spouses, am I right? Hmm? Always make the job so cumbersome. Depends on the person. Oh, there she is. Dr. Rosaline, is it? And Dr. Watts. 
Yes, we're here for Colin. Well, of course. Thank you both for coming. Right this way. Nope, going elsewhere. <laughs> oh shit, you're from Sancor! <laughs> Am I really dead? Uh, no. Don't lie to me, I just signed up for your services last week. They said you come for me when it's time. I already told you, we're not here for you. No, I, I'm not prepared, I can't die yet! Oh, I know. You're not really here, I'm just seeing things! I just drank too much, tra la la Whoa, look at those eyes! <laughs> yeah, I think you did drink a little bit too much there, buddy. It's over here. Speaking of which, nope, nothing, okay. In we go! What was that, Princess Leia? Act 1. Tell me, what do you want to change? I bet I know what he wants to change. But we'll see. Huh, this is a quaint place you got here. Colin's in the other room. Come with me. Right down to business. I like that. Yeah, because right now I just really need to put this box down. A pot of homegrown hibiscus. That's a beautiful TV. A wedding photo hangs behind the TV. The couple looks happy. Ah. I'm always happy to see characters I like happy. All right, so I should just head this way. Stop wasting y'all's time. Ooh, a computer and a airplane. Interesting. An unplugged computer. I don't know what that is, but whatever. Oh, I bet that's his son. I bet that's his kid. You must be here for my father. You're the patient's son? Yeah. I came as soon as I heard. But we can talk later. Why don't you get set up first? That box is heavy. See? He gets it! Are you guys ready to get settled? Yeah, just give us a moment. I can't decide on an accent for Sophia. Is the power here sufficient? Why does everyone keep asking that? It'll work fine, sheesh. But first, brace yourselves for a power outage of cinematic proportions! Huh. I guess you got a more stable power grid than our headquarters. That's equally comforting as it is worrisome. You're in good hands. We do this all the time. Too much of the time, if you ask me. So you too are for real.
You can really fulfill his wish. We'll certainly try our best, ma'am. But we always succeed, because... It would only be in his head, though. Yeah, we know that. Not like he'd be able to tell the difference, am I right? Anyhow, fess up. What is it that he wants? He wouldn't tell us. He said it doesn't affect us and we have nothing to worry about. Well, that sounds legit. Look, that's... that's okay. We'll find out from him soon enough. Isn't it also in the paperwork? Yeah, but who reads that stuff? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But seriously, where did the file go? It wasn't in the box? Nope. Guess I might have left it in the car. Alright, I guess we got time on the machines booting up anyway. Rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock to decide? Wow. That's... <laughs> Nice uh, Big Bang Theory reference there, which I don't watch anymore. I'd rather play Logic. You forgot it, so you go get it. The end. Well played, Mr. Spock. <laughs> oh boy. I've updated the system, it's practically configuring itself now. Is that the same doctor? Already down to business, huh? I think that's the same doctor. <laughs> yep! <laughs> hey, I remember you. Yeah, it's, it's been a while. Almost two years or more. Although, weren't Dr. Winters and Dr. Lynn assigned to this patient instead? Yeah, but their rosters were full at the time, so we heroically volunteered. Turned out they got nothing to do today, though. Hmm, I guess you never know the timing with the nature of your job. Anyhow, don't mind me, I'm just gonna go check on the patient. Let's talk to Sun here. Is there anything I can help with? I'm just gonna head downstairs to get something. But Dr. Rosalind could use some help in a bit. Okay, understood. Neil, don't forget to get the patient status monitor from Colin's medical doc first. Good idea. Wouldn't want to be snoozing when it gives the long note. The long note? Wow. <laughs> oh, God. I love this, but it's so hard. It's so hard to get the voices right. This is why I like what I've been recording lately, which is Zero Escape, Virtue's Last Reward, and Danganronpa V3. I don't have to worry about the voices. Because <laughs> I feel like I'm a terrible voice actor, but I'm getting better. I am definitely getting better. Here, this should help. Received remote patient monitor. Nice. Trusty little wireless thing. Just hope it doesn't give me tumors. It's not a tumor. Oh, okay. Just like before. Nice. Well, while we're here, let's save. No, 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 no. There we go. It is worth checking around. Ooh. An age digital piano. I should leave the browsing to Ava. She'll have time while I get to the car. Okay, I guess you're forcing me to go to the car then. That's fine. Perfectly fine. I like how in this version, uh, I mean, sequel, that they're actually getting straight to the point. They're not doing, it doesn't seem like they're doing all the usual 
stuff from the first game where you have to interact with all the kids and do all that. But it is kind of weird how I have to walk all the way to the car. Whoa. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Oh, no. More of potato. Huh, you got your bear back. Yep, a nice lady in a brown dress swooped into the pond and got it for me. Swooped? Yeah, she didn't even touch the water. You should lay off the sugar, kid. Ain't good for your head. Potate? Potato! Boiler masher sticker in a stew. Once again, I love the music. No, 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 no. You need to talk to her. Who's dying, dear? Uh, excuse me, ma'am? That coat and tag you are from Sigmund. If you're here, then someone's time is up. Colin Reeds. Do you know him? I see. He and his wife used to stroll with my husband and me here every day. Please do your best for him, dear. You sound awfully calm about it. If I were your friend, I'd be worried. After years of seeing everyone around you go, it's hard not to be. But then, you of all people should know that well. Yeah, I guess that's true. Boy, there's a huge, very loud cello part of that. That's kind of cool. The Neil Watts theme, everybody. Dag nabbit, did I leave it at the office? <laughs> this is so funny because it relates to my current job as well. Like, I, I, I'm I, a disorganized mess sometimes, so when I'm going into somebody's home <laughs> to try and talk to them about what I do for a living, I constantly leave stuff in the car. <laughs> it's bad. Rocks, it's me. Neil, still hiding your caller ID. Getting calls from unknown feels like I'm in a horror movie, you know? My bad, I'll turn it off next time. No, I love the suspense. Every time I'm like, am I getting cursed? Are the feds coming after me? The excitements are endless. Mm, alrighty. Uh, <clears throat> anyways. Look, are you, are you still at the office? I think I left the patient's file on the printer. Oh, okie dokie, pokey loki. Just give me a moment. Hey, you got the file? Ava. I think I forgot it back at... You what?! Don't worry, I called Roxanne. She's gonna find it and send over a scan. That rhymed. Okay, just take care of it. Did you find it, Rox? Yep, it was just sitting on your table after all. Great, just scan it and... My table? You're in my room?! Yep, you asked me to get the files, right? You rock. I meant from the printer in the lobby. How did you get into my room anyhow? I locked it! 
Oh, a girl's got her ways. Okay, look, just get out of there and send me a scan, please, would you? And don't touch anything. I just organized it. Yep, yep. On it. That's a secret compartment. You guys got everything else you need. Alright guys, well we're back into it. I'm loving it so far. Can't wait to play more. I gotta take a quick break for dinner, but I'm gonna be recording more later. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I'm enjoying bringing it to you. But my name is Cornels006, and I am out for now. Take care.